Today we'll be looking at voltage, current and resistance. First we will look at voltage. So what is voltage? To understand this we will take a look at this analogy. Here we have two tanks with one containing more water than the other. This difference in height of the surface of the water of the two tanks can be seen as voltage and the water molecules can be seen as electrons. The tank with more water can be seen as the negative side since electrons are negatively charged and more electrons mean more negative charge and the other as positive side since it has less negatively charged electrons. If we connect these two tanks with a pipe which can be seen as a good conductor of electricity the water will flow from the first tank to the second tank until there is no difference in height of the surface of the water. There is no voltage between these two sides. If we look at a battery, we see two sides. Negative which has more electrons and positive with less electrons. If we connect both using a wire, electrons start to flow from the negative side to the positive side. This difference creates a potential which makes electrons flow to the side with less electrons. This is measured in volts. Now we will see what is current. When we connected the pipe or the wire, water molecules started to flow. The amount of water molecules passing through a cross-sectional area of a pipe in a second can be seen as current. The amount of negative charge passing through one cross-section of the wire in a second can be seen as current. This is measured in amperes. Now lastly we look at resistance. To understand resistance we will again go back to the analogy. When water is flowing through the pipe and I press on the pipe, water flow will be resisted to a certain extent, depending on how hard I press the pipe. Same here, usually a special component is used to provide resistance called resistor, which we will cover in the next episode. They resist the flow of current by some amount depending on the value of resistor. These resistance slow down the flow of electrons, resulting in less number of electrons flowing through the wire, reducing the current. This is measured in ohms. These three, V which stands for voltage, I which stands for current and R which stands for resistance have a special relation between them. This relation can be seen in Ohm's law which we will discuss in our next episode along with the resistor. Thanks a lot for watching guys. If you are still not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, share the video if you liked it. Stay tuned for the next episode.